I knew Mama didn't like him, so neither did I. I, I didn't understand. I was only a child. There was so much I didn't know, until Mama and Papa told me, when I was old enough. Not bad. Lads will enjoy this tonight. Tulip bulbs. You eat tulips. Searching for food again. You should not do this. If you had a man... You miss your husband? I told you before. About your brave husband, yes. We arrive, he runs away. To fight. To kill Germans. Like me. <laughs> May I go now? I could make your life easy! You're late. Better late than never. Do you mind? Guns make me nervous. Yeah, well, being unarmed makes me nervous. What is this mausoleum, anyway? It used to be a private school. I bought it when it closed down. It has the size and privacy I require for my work. Do I take it you have the amount discussed? Oh, I've got it. Every penny. All you've got to do now is convince me that whatever it is you're selling is worth it. And trust me, for this amount, it had better be good. Good. <laughs> good. What I'm offering goes way beyond good. I call that the vortex. It's a kind of open conduit through space-time. Still want to shoot me? It's a nice light show, but uh, I'd like to see something more tangible. I thought you might. Time for you to go. Thanks. Oh, and uh, say hello to the Caribbean for me. He's dead.
20 to that. Same age as me then. I'm supposed to stop her. Tell her I'm not coming back. Go on, tell her. He's never coming back. How do you know? Why can't she just get on with her life and leave me alone? Why did you say that? He wanted to play in the water, even though he couldn't swim. I let him. He was a boy after all. I warned him not to go too far. Then I heard him call, Mummy! I turned! He was gone. Suddenly he wasn't there. When I wake up, well I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who wakes up next to you. If I get drunk, well I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who gets drunk next to you. And if I haver, yeah I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's havering to you. But I will walk five hundred. So, shoved it in the loft. That's where it's been for the past few years. Have you any idea where your great-grandmother got it? I have got a clue. Well, it's certainly Victorian. I'd put it circa 1860. So, do you think it's worth anything? It looks like a limited edition. They're very rare. It's in fine antique or clean glass. I can't believe this. This might actually be worth something. and it would be used as an ornamental table lamp. I think this is wonderful. I love it as an object. Do you know how much it's worth? Well, it could be uh, very substantial. Really? There are collectors who will be very interested in this. Well, come on then, what's it worth? Well, I'd insure it for a minimum of £30,000. <gasps> you mean to tell me that I have 30,000 squints in my loft and I took that on a skip? God save the person who gave it back to me. Whatever you do, take good care of it. No! Clarence Leak speaking. Oh, sorry, wrong number. Hello, Bob. I bet you're hungry, aren't you? Yes. Well, Bob. Looks like it's just you and me again for my birthday this year. Age? Just coming up to 30. The date of the party? Uh, this Thursday night. 
Right, now how many guests would you like for the party? Guests normally work out at about £15 an hour plus the price of drinks. Um, well, three perhaps? Three? Excellent. Now, which of these categories would you describe yourself as? Very interesting, fairly interesting, fairly dull, dull or morbid? Um, well, unfortunately, I'd say I was fairly dull. Might be flat. Oh, we get it. We're gonna have to get another car. Come on. Give me the keys. Give me the keys. Hurry up. The business will be here any minute. Chief Inspector Barnacle. Why do meter readers come at such inconvenient times? I am not a meter reader. I am a senior police officer. Now, who precisely are you? I'm Piles, Lady Longbottom's butler. A ladyship is not at home to casual visitors in the morning. Open this door. Open it properly. You don't look like a butler. Why do you say that? Your sleeves are rolled up. It's an American tradition. The right to bear arms. Good day, Miss Crossbow. I need a postal order. You love me giving you orders, Reverend Rostrum? It's for my annual subscription to Big and oh. Bouncy magazine. <laughs> Here's your postal order, Dennis. You vicarious man. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I hardly know where to begin. Brigadier Glenn Morangy. There. 
Uh, I'm glad I've caught you. Oh, <laughs> I'm DCI Barnacle. Yeah, well, never mind. I've also got a funny name. Look, I, I have to ask you, when were you last in church? Uh, Christmas morning. Yes, uh, as I recall, the, the vicar was uh, making a posthumous tribute to King George the the, the Sixth. <laughs> it was a very moving sermon. <laughs> we were all in tears. Yes, but the the king has been dead for sixty years. I didn't say I was a regular churchgoer. You asked me when I was last in church. <laughs> uh, I've met the vicar, though the new one, that is. Oddly, his main interest is in tractors. Tractors? Uh, really? Oh, yes, he's a big tractor fan. Well, alas, I have to tell you that he is now an ex-tractor fan. 